local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Today, one of those days where it looks better than it feels outside. Of course, we have the blue sky mixed with the cloud cover over in Martinsville on our new College Institute sky cam. Unfortunately, it is pretty sweaty outside because of the heat and also the humidity. The temperatures up compared to Tuesday by six degrees in Blacksburg and Hillsville at the moment. Three degree warm up for Roanoke and it's about a five degree warm up over in Martinsville. So that's given us temperatures already well into the 80s at lunchtime and we are heading into the 90s later on today. Roanoke, you're coming at 86 right now, 88 in Lynchburg, 87 in South Boston and the temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to the low 80s over in the New River Valley. Our highs this afternoon are going to be in the 90s across much of our area. I don't think the New River Valley gets quite to 90 degrees, but Highland's going to be in the low 90s and possibility for the middle 90s if you live in Roanoke, Lynchburg or Southside. I think we're going to be staying dr mainly dry for the rest of the afternoon and into our evening. Once again, over in Danville, we're going to have the Otterbots first, the River Turtles first pitch of that game, probably going to be in the upper 80s, so definitely plan to to try to stay cool through the game. Looks like the temperature getting down into the low 80s by the end of that game, and we'll have partly cloudy skies overhead. Wouldn't be surprised if a couple of storms do roll into the area overnight tonight. Going to be mainly in the mountains and late tonight. Also, it's going to be very warm overnight tonight. Our lows well above average. 71 in the New River Valley, 73 when you were starting off your Thursday in the Highlands, and then the middle 70s for Roanoke, Lynchburg, and Southside. The temperature's warming up just as hot as what they're going to be uh, this afternoon as we go into tomorrow afternoon, 94 for the high in Roanoke 95 in Lynchburg 94 in Danville. Many of you in the 80s across the New River Valley. Possibility for some scattered storms toward the afternoon and evening. I think the highest coverage of those is likely to be over in Southside. So continuing to see the high heat build in. Uh, hopefully for we'll get some relief from those scattered storms on Thursday and then a potential for near record highs as we head into this upcoming weekend. Now we're talking about some big heat here in Virginia over the next few days. They've already been feeling that heat uh, areas to the west of us. So the highs today in places like Dallas 108, Tulsa 108 as well over in Louisiana and Arkansas. They're starting to see the triple digits. I don't think we quite get the triple digits here our way. We might get close as we go into the weekend, but it's certainly going to be hotter over the next few days. And part of the reason for that is the jet stream is already lifted well to the north and the heat is going to be able to spill to the east as we go into uh, Thursday, Friday and this upcoming weekend. We're going to be close to 100 degrees by the time we get to the weekend. And you can see that uh, those levels do compare favorably with the record highs for this time of year. So of course we'll let you know if any of those records do fall, but the main thing you need to know is you just need to try to stay cool at least through the weekend and we'll hope for some cooler stuff by the time we get to next week. Forecast for the next 24 hours features a high of 94 today. We're mainly dry during the daytime. I can't completely rule out the possibility for a storm as we head into tonight. Also very warm overnight tonight, a low of 75. Here's your extended forecast. The heat continues to build the middle 90s Thursday, Friday, the upper 90s possible Saturday and Sunday. And you look all the way down the road next week. Jenna, you see 92. <laughs> I feel like that will feel cool compared to the upper 90s over the weekend, especially if we can get rid of some of the humidity. Um, That's what will, I'm hoping for. I think yeah. that makes it really hard um, on these summer days when, you know, you, you feel the sweat mm -hmm. on you and it just doesn't evaporate. So right. hopefully first uh, get some uh, some lower humidity.